Hello everyone, my name is Python GB and welcome back to another episode of my Terraria Summoner playthrough. I'm not gonna lie, I've not really been looking forward to recording this episode because I know that it's just gonna be a massive grind fest because I would like to get the rest of the bee armor in today's episode, but what that means is I have to go ahead and do a crap ton of prep work. I need to capture myself a bunch of variegated lard fish and also some armored cave fish in an attempt to make myself a bunch of potions, summoning potions, and of course the druid's potions are the ones that I'm after that's what's made out of those fishes so yeah and then after all of that i am hoping to have myself three minions maybe even four if i have a spare potion left over and we can go ahead and take down the eye of cthulhu so we will be taking down queen bee once again in today's episode but this time i think i'm gonna you know i think i'm just gonna skip the battle because it's 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 gonna take a long time again so yeah you know, that's just the thing that happens. And of course, uh, while we're doing this, I just want to, again, thank you guys for the amount of support you've been showing for the series, my friends. If we can keep it up, of course, that would be absolutely amazing. And talking of amazing, our first variegated lardfish has just been caught, which is amazing. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting three of these. I think three of these variegated lardfish would be a nice amount to get. I'm pretty sure that's the amount we went for before, too. So, yeah. I, uh, I'm looking forward to it, man. I'm looking forward to getting all the stuff done. I'm looking forward to getting myself full B armor and, of course, having a bunch more minions on me because from there on in, I think the summoner playthrough is just going to get a lot more fun because at the start, I'm not going to lie, it is a grind fest, especially if you really want to do it legit and get the slime stuff legit. So, you know, it's just a thing to consider if you ever decide to do a summoner playthrough yourself. It is a major grind fest at the start, but like I said, as soon as you get your beast set, you're going to be good to go. Things are going to get a lot more fun, and your pace is just going to get that bit more quicker, and it's just going to be awesome. So yeah, I am going to go ahead and continue fishing, my friends, and we're going to try and get three variegated lardfish. Then we're going to move over to try and get some uh, armored cave fish. And then we'll make some potions, we'll go back to the beehive, grab some hive blocks, and then we should be able to make ourselves the abomination, I think it's called. Abomination, abomination, something like that. And we should be able to summon in Queen Bee. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get on with it. Alrighty guys, so I've just TP'd home after the uh, after the fishing session right there. I've got three armored cave fish and three variegated lard fish. I also managed to capture this thing, the bat fish. I hadn't even seen what the quest was, and we've already managed to complete it, which is fantastic. So let's go ahead and put it in. We've got ourselves a weather radio. That's not something I see very often. Displays the weather. I mean, of course, what else would it do? <laughs> okay, I mean, that's kind of cool. We can see what the weather's like. Hey! Ah, oh, and then we can be a complete Brit about it, and we can complain about the weather all the time like we do. Ha! <laughs> oh, dear. Man, I'm enjoying this. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, so, uh, yeah, our, our bait's not looking so hot right now. Uh, where's all the stuff at, man? I'm pretty sure it's good. Yeah, I made myself a few chests, but I didn't make them. I put these chests up here, which have a bunch of stuff in them. So we need to go and grab this out. I'm pretty sure it's Moonglow and Blinky Plan, isn't it? So if we head back down... And uh, let's go ahead and see what we can make right here. We can make ourselves endurance potions. One of them. That's not a great deal, is it? Let's be honest right here. Uh, we need to see if we can't find some more of that. Or, better still, we need the dryad to spawn in so we can make ourselves some plant box areas. That'd be a much better idea. All right, now then. Uh, I need a reminder on how to make this thing. Hello, Budski. Right, so you're going to go ahead and tell me how to make a summoner potion, aren't you? Right, uh, yeah, here you go. Summoner potion. Oh, it is Moonglow. Wait, what? How come I... Why wasn't I able to make it then? Or am I completely blind? Or am I just completely stupid? Probably all of the above. Yeah. I I may have been seeing that as a night owl potion or something. I, I have nothing to say right now. <laughs> all right, so that thing lasts for four minutes and uh, it's not the end of the world if we run out of it but obviously it is nice to have you know that reduced damage it is good to have that so yeah all right let's put all the stuff away there we go blinky plant and of course that can go in there all right so now what we need to do is we need the stingers we need the bottled honey we need hive blocks, and I'm trying to remember what the last thing I need is. So, again, heading over to the guide to see what we need. So, here we go. Do, 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 do. It is honey blocks. Oh, so we need honey blocks and hive blocks. So, honey blocks, I believe, you make by putting water on honey or something like that. So, if I go ahead and grab some of this out, I think for the first time in a very, very long time, 
I'm actually going to make a bucket. Let's do this thing. Uh, buckety, buckety, bucket. There we go. Bucket. Uh, should we make, like, three of them? Just as a sort of just-in-case kind of procedure. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and let's let's get some honey blocks. Let's do it. Alrighty, guys. So it turns out buckets aren't actually that effective in uh, making honey blocks. As you can see, I've only got five. There's another two right there. So that means we've only got, what, seven bits? Which is still enough, don't get me wrong. But uh, it's, it's not a lot, let's be honest. Two, three, four, five. That's going to be five, isn't it? Ah, the bees! The bees are all over the place and stuff. Oh god, alright, do I even need to be here still? Uh, five. Oh no, we need one more high block. One more. Only one. No, 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 no. Oh god damn it. Oh god damn it, man. I just want the high block. Alright, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, stop being a blooming butt about it. Right, uh, wait, did we even pick that up? Huh, we didn't pick it up. How strange. Sometimes you don't pick up the hive block. There we go. I picked up that high block. Interesting. I did not know that. Right, now then. Uh, let me guess. I'm going to have to fight her uh, inside of the of the biome thing, right? We're not even going to... Oh. Oh, we could, we could do it anywhere. Huh. In terms of uh, making the thing, as in. But, I don't know. Can I, can I use this thing, like, here? No? Can I, can I do it in the jungle biome? Or am I actually going to have to go ahead? And, uh... Oh, God. This... Oh... I might just say sod it, go back to the biome, and uh, and just do the fight there, because I think that might just be the best idea. So, yeah. Right, do we have a campfire on us? Uh, well, we do now. There we go. Okay, so I guess we're heading down to the bee biome, and we're gonna go ahead and get on with this fight, I guess. We've got seven defense, which of course isn't a great deal, let's be honest right here. But, wait, we have a gladiator helmet somewhere, don't we? Or do we? Wait, hang on. I'm gonna go and get prepped, and basically I'll meet you guys down in the thing. Alrighty, guys, here we are back in action. I managed to make myself one iron skin potion, which of course is gonna provide us with eight more defense, which is decent, but unfortunately, I only managed to make one. So we've got the abomination here, got ourselves a bunch of buff potions. Let's go and put the buff potions on now. There we go, so we can have ourselves another hornet, and let's do this thing, my friends. Like I said, we're gonna go ahead and skip it, because we've already seen this done once before. Alrighty guys, I thought I'd bring you back in for the end of the fight because I've got a bit of a strategy that I'm using. When the queen bee is charging around and shooting out stingers, I use two hornets. But, when it comes to her shooting out bees like she is, I actually bring out Squishy again. So basically, Squishy takes care of the little bees, and obviously the hornet takes care of queen bee herself. So as you can see, she has 120 health roughly. So yeah man, this this uh, this strategy seems to work. The thing is, with the, uh, with the wasps, they don't seem to do melee damages, and they don't seem to do damage if they touch the enemy. It's only ranged damage, so as a result of that, it's kind of weak against ranged things, or, or in this case, these little bees right here. So there we go. Let's get Squishy back out to take care of the bees right here. And there we go, Budski. And now we get the two hornets back out. And this is where they go, Hambony. And of course, they kick Queen Bee's ass. So there we go, my friends. Awesome stuff. We freaking well did it. Ah, oh, yeah, man. I'm feeling good about it. We've got Queen Bee taken down for the second time, which is awesome. So let's head back and let's hope and pray that we have enough of these bee wax to actually be able to complete the armor. Because if we don't, I'm going to be extremely heartbroken. So here we go. The chest plate and the helmet together is 20. We have enough, guys. We have enough. We've actually got enough. <laughs> ho ho! Ladies and gentlemen, the first official summoner set of armor is in place. I'm very happy. So now we've got four hornets on us, man. We've got four freaking hornets. This is awesome. I'm so happy, man. You have got absolutely no idea. I am so happy right now. Uh, I've just realized that's in the wrong place. That should be in there. Right. Okay. So what we're going to do is we are going to next make a clock. So that, of course, means going ahead and grabbing these out. Can I make it here? Uh, no, I, I believe I need a table and a chair. So if we head over this way, here we go, gold watch. Now we can tell what the time is all the time, which is awesome, my friends. I'm really, really happy, man. We've got ourselves a hornet stuff, which now does 11 damage, which is awesome. Even Squishy now does 10 damage, which is pretty awesome. So, yeah. These guys against the Eye of Cthulhu should be absolute badass, man. They really should be. There should be no reason I shouldn't be able to take them guys down. Even without a Blooming Summoner Potion, we should be able to do it, man. But for the safety... Well, for the sake of safety, we're going to be going ahead and doing it with the potion. So, 
Yeah, right, what's the time right now? Oh, it's AM! Man, I got freaking ages! I got ages before I can go ahead and do anything, really, so... I'm not entirely sure what I could be doing right now. Honestly, not sure. I'm trying to think of something, but honestly, I can't. Hmm. Anyway, uh, I kind of want to be able to see my B armor, because... Eh, I think I prefer the archaeologist hat, actually. Let's, uh, should we make this invisible? Nope, or what is it? This? Yeah, look at me, man. I'm the bee archaeologist master. That's freaking sweet, dude. I love that. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you what, guys. I'm going to go ahead and do a bit of uh, inventory management during this daytime. And then we'll do a bit of preparation in order to uh, take down the Eye of Cthulhu. So, yeah, today is the day of boss battles and organization. So, yeah, I'll be back shortly, hopefully. Alrighty guys, so we're back in action. I did a bit of fishing and I got myself some more variegated lard fish for future reference. And what, what I'm now doing is making a cooking pot because I thought it'd be a good idea to go ahead and do so. So we can make ourselves some food and have ourselves some lasting decent effects. So, uh, I guess I could just put it up here, right? There we go. And all we need to do now is grab out some fishies. So let's go ahead and grab some tuna out, for example. And we should just be able to do this, right? Cooked fish. Or sashimi. Ooh. Okay. I mean, let's let's make the sashimi. Why not, man? Let's do it. Okay. Minor improvements to all stats. Awesome. Got regen potions, summoning potions, and we should pretty much be good to go. So, let's buff ourselves up, and let's do this thing, man. The Eye of Cthulhu is coming on. Oh, my lord. I can't imagine this being anything other than an absolute walk in the park. I mean, as you can clearly see, my bees are going to work, man. My bees are going to work. Go on, Budski. <laughs> Look at them, man. Holy crap. They're going to work. Man, this is easy as hell. Oh, can you imagine if that star fell on the Eye of Cthulhu? That would have been hilarious, dude. That honestly would have been pretty damn hilarious. All right, so 2,400 health. Doing a lot of damage to this guy. 2,300 health. Yeah, man. I haven't even got a proper arena. I didn't even bother making an arena, but obviously my bees are just like, nah, you don't need an arena. We'll take care of it. Look at these guys, man. <laughs> This is fantastic. I mean, it's still going to be probably a longer fight than normal, possibly. But goddammit, these bees are freaking going to work. I love it so much. All right, so I've got 15 defense on me. That's awesome, man. 15 defense on me. I haven't even got any... Uh... Oh, yeah, that's why the defense is thanks to the armor, isn't it? Four, five, four. So that's 15 defense straight out. Wait, none of these have got defense on them? Huh, apparently not. Oh, well. Uh, he's going to turn into a second form in just a moment, my friends. So... I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, you know, take a nice stroll. Nice little stroll around here. You know, my little servants of Cthulhu. They're coming to join the party. I'm just gonna have a nice stroll, you know? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna have a nice stroll in my backyard, because, because why not? There we go. Oh, there he goes. Second form. Already lost 100 health off his second form. <laughs> awesome. All right, let's avoid hitting my guy. Thank you very much, indeedy. All right, how's he doing? 900 health. All right, good stuff, man. Oh, look at all the damage that's being done to him now. Well into double digits. Awesome stuff. I think double jump is working very nicely in our favor for this fight. So, yeah, man. We're doing well. We're doing well, son. All right. And go upwards. There you go. So you avoid the guide. Found up a dozy. And he's literally about to die. And there you go. He's dead. Wow. That was easy. <laughs> 48 Crimson and all and a bunch of uh, Crimson Seeds. You know what? We're just going to skip to the ends of these other two fights. Yeah, get wrecked, son! Got ourselves a trophy that time. Awesome! Booyah! Get wrecked, son! Ah, oh, three items of Cthulhu in one night and a queen bee to uh, to really, you know, hammer the point home that the summoner playthrough is really starting to get, you know, some traction. <laughs> Awesome stuff, my friends. On that awesome note, though, my friends, it is time to end the episode. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the episode, and of course you're excited to see more, be sure to drop a like rating. And of course you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. But that is going to wrap it up for today's episode. Thank you very much for watching. Your support, as always, has been very much appreciated. And I will see you guys in the next episode. 